graph the following parabolas, transforming the basic parabola y is equal to x squared. So hopefully you know how uh, the graph of y is equal to x squared looks like. So let's graph it. Uh, so y is equal to x squared. The vertex of y is equal to x squared is 0, 0. When x is 0, y is going to be 0. Say what happens when x is 1. So when x is 1, 1 squared is 1. So 1, 1 is a coordinate. Then when x is 2, y would be 4. Because 2 squared is 4. When x is 3, y is 9. Okay, now what happens when x is negative 1? Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1. That's 1. When it's negative 2, it's 4. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And when x is negative 3, y is 9. But here one thing, and when x is, of course you can go on and on forever. When x is negative 4, it is negative 16. So the graph would look like this. I'll draw a dotted line because this is not the main graph. So this is how the graph looks like. So this is not the graph I want to draw. We want to transform this. So this will go on forever. And yeah, this way. Uh, let me draw a dotted line as neat as possible. So this is your basic parabola. You should always have an idea of your basic parabola because all of the parabolas are transformation of this parabola. This will go on and on forever. So this is, okay. So we're going to focus on these points. So let's uh, first write one equation. Say what happens if the equation is y is equal to x squared minus 3. So this minus 3, what will happen is the basic parabola have, will go 3 down. will go 3 down. Or each of this point will go 3 down. That's what it means. So this 0 will go 3 down. That means it will be at minus 3. So your vertex will become 0 minus 3. This point will go 3 down. So let's count 3 down. 1, 2, 3. This point will go 3 down, 1, 2, 3. And this point will go 3 down, 1, 2, 3. So, same way this will go, 3 down, let's count 1, 2, 3. Okay, I forgot one more thing. These two points are reflection of each other. If you consider the y-axis as the mirror line, these two points are reflection of each other. So, can you see? This point is a reflection of this point, or they are a reflection of each other. Okay, so this, if you reflect this, so if you think that, if you want to plot in a different way, so this is 1, 2 across, so from here you go 2 across. So this is 1, 2 across, so from here you go 2 across, so this is the reflection. Or if you think in a different way, you go 3 down from here, 1, 2, 3. And then let us join it, because this is what I want to draw. So this will be a graph like this. And this is the other part. So this is the y, this is the graph of y is equal to x squared minus 3. Okay, so let me write one more equation. What happens? So let me erase this. So this is your basic parabola. So we're going to do all the graphs based on this basic parabola. What happens if y is equal to, if it is, say, x minus 3, the whole squared. <laughs> minus, when it, when it's inside the bracket, this minus means the basic parabola will go 3 to the right. It will go 3 to the right. Okay, so... This point, so let me use a different color. This point, that's the vertex, will go 3 to the right. So 1, 2, 3. So the, you can also confirm this on a calculator. So simply the transformation is each of this point will go 3 to the right. So this point will go 1, 2, 3 to the right. Okay, now I, I forgot to explain one more thing. Now you can treat this, as I told you, as a mirror line or the reflection line. So this, if this is the 
for the basic parabola, your y-axis is the mirror line. So for this graph that we are drawing, your reflection, this line will go three to the right. So your word, your word, your line of symmetry, this is also called the line of symmetry. Let me write it. You need to know the technical words. So this line is called the line of symmetry. Line of symmetry means this line divides the symmetry. Try to let me finish it off. Symmetry. Yeah. So this is the mirror line. Oh, and uh, so this point will go three to the right. One, two, three. Okay, so now this point will go three to the right. One, two, one, one, two. Okay, sorry, one, two, and three, yeah, this point. And can you see this and this are reflection of each other? And then you can, if you want to plot this point, this point, sorry, this point has gone three to the right, one, two, three. This point will go three to the right, one, two, three. Okay, or can you see that this distance is one, two, and this distance is one, two. So the middle line, the, this, uh, the parabola would look like this. So this graph is the graph of y is equal to x minus 3 the whole square. So let me show this on the calculator. So if you have a graphic calculator, go to graph and type in first x squared. Okay and then graph it. So let me scroll it up so that you can see. So this is your basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. The last graph that we draw, drew was y is equal to x squared, x squared minus 3. So this is a basic parabola, so let me scroll it up so that I can get. So this is the basic parabola, y is equal to x squared, and this is equal to y is equal to x squared minus 3. This has gone 3 down, 1, 2, 3. So if you take each point, each point on this basic parabola has gone three down. That's what it means. So if you only look at the vertex, the shape is the same, and each point has gone three to down. Okay, so let me cancel this. What happens if I'm putting a bracket inside? Inside the bracket, if it is x minus three, the whole squared. Minus means it will go to the right. Can you see this is the same basic parabola? It has gone one, two, three to the right. Okay, so uh, let me finish off with, say, one more. What happens if it is y is equal to x plus 4 the whole squared? Plus means it will go to the left. How many to the left? It will go 4 to the left. Your basic parabola will go 4 to the left. So let me use a black color. So from this, if you go 4 to the left, so this is your vertex. Okay, your line of symmetry will pass through the vertex. So this is your line of symmetry. So this line is also called x is equal to negative 4. Okay, and now you can just, this. if you take this point, so if you take this point, it will go 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and this point will go 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then this point, this point will go 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this point will become, this will coincide with this point, and this point will go 4 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the graph of, this will go on forever, and this is your basic parabola. Not the basic parabola, this is the graph of this equation. So this has gone 4 to the left, and this has gone 3 to the right. And this is your basic parabola.